What's going on, y'all? This is me, your boy, Scott, by Nature TV, and we're here for a brand new episode of Yes for the Mess, where we talk about nothing but hot topics, celebrity gossip, as well as all things reality TV based, okay? So before we get into today's mess, let's talk about what we got coming up on the platform this weekend. Make sure you tune in tomorrow for Young, Fresh, and New, and I'll be sitting down with up-and-coming content creator, Jeremy Speaks. We'll be sitting down talking about his platform, him as a person, him as a content creator, the relationships that he's made on the plat on the YouTube platform, as well as his struggles and other things like that. So if you want to get to know a brand new content creator, make sure y'all tune in on Saturday at 12.15 Eastern Time so you guys can hear from Jeremy Speak TV. I had a lovely time communicating with him. And also we are building our own relationship outside of the YouTube cameras. And he is an amazing person on and off camera. So be on the lookout for that. On Sunday, be sure to tune in at the same time, 12.15 Eastern, as C. Diggy and I sit down and talk about the feud between Candace and Monique. We'll be talking about the fight, things leading up to the fight, things that happen after the fight, and our opinions about the backlash and all sorts of things. Be sure to tune in to that on Sunday morning at 12.15 Eastern, 11.15 Central Time, okay? It's the second episode of Who Was Wrong? I had a great time filming with Chris. We've been talking about collaborating for almost a year now. We finally got it done. So be on the lookout for that on Saturday, on Sunday morning. I'm sorry. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the mess for today. Now, although Melody's friendships with Letitia and Destiny are over, some LAMH fans have been hoping that there's a there's a silver of a chance things could change. Well, Melody addressed this during an interview, and she also explained why she didn't accept Ms. Wanda's apology about the paternity dig. Letitia Scott, no. Interestingly enough, Melody has discussed the state of her past relationship with Letitia and Destiny during an interview with Hey Girl Hey, which is a um, which is a fellow content creator. I'm well aware of who she is. She asked if it, if things could ever if she could ever get things repaired with her former girlfriend. Melody answered, so my answer for this has been pretty consistent, even when Tisha and I were at odds, which is interesting to me, because when everything first transpired, it was literally that I had pulled back from her, right? That was the thing. I had pulled back, and I'm like, but I didn't have an issue with you. You thought I had an issue with you, but I didn't. I was literally experiencing a crisis in my marriage at that time. She added, as humans sometimes, we all do it. You tend to pull back from times when you're trying to figure it out. But it did it doesn't mean that the person has done anything necessarily to you. So first it was that. Melody feels like it was Martel who caused the drama, but she also said that Letitia was being shady first. I didn't make any cheating allegations, my ex did. But then we had that coffee scene when it was brought up to me. But before that, even with the laughing jokes and all of that, season one about what I was going through in my marriage, if you guys go back and watch season one, you will see the little sly remarks like I heard, he got a little thing around town. I wasn't doing that. At this point, Destiny doesn't think that she can be friends with Destiny or Letitia ever again. So it led to all of us getting in a place that I would not say is a place that we can all return to when, where we were friends. I have no desire to. She also opened up about her thoughts on fans for a cotton show. So for me, I feel that the at the end of the day, when it comes down to supporting black women, supporting no bullying, no harassing, and none of that coming together for a cause like that, there's always a positive to me. But that would be for me. It doesn't matter what network it would be on. I don't care. Even if it wasn't me, when it comes to standing for something or falling for anything, so to speak, absolutely. Melody continues. So people being privy to seeing all the things online against me, and again, I don't even know them for real. I definitely understood, and I also agreed. With the fact, ooh, that's that alarm. Agree with the fact that no matter who it is, we're not going to tolerate people being harassed and bullied. Ms. Wanda was brought up, and Melody said that she thinks this is a bit unfair that she said nothing when Ms. Wanda came for her over a lot over the years. She didn't even say anything when she came for her children the first time. She was raised to respect her elders, but she reached a breaking point once her youngest daughter's paternity was questioned. Melody also revealed that Miss Wanda did apologize to her for this at the reunion. However, she wasn't moved by it. At the reunion, she apologized after being asked multiple times, do you want to apologize? After many minutes of trying, everybody almost on the stage, not everybody, but almost everybody on the stage trying to justify what she said, then asked multiple times to apologize. But then she apologized, and I was like, nah, I'm good. Like, I don't accept it. Y'all will see it, but I'm also not sitting here waiting on an apology because I'm not. 
She added, and, and when you look at the events that transpired after this apology, I know that my spirit was right when it told me, don't accept this shit. Outside of the show, Melody has serious business moves, okay? She has a production company, and she now has a show on the Impact Network called Mind, Body, Money. She just finished up a movie by the name of Marriage um, Manson, which she says was absolutely amazing, okay? And she's excited to go after her dreams. She has a partner by the name of Dawn Michelle, who's her manager. She has 30 years in the entertainment industry, and she's the showrunner for her show. Um, she's the showrunner for who's a part of um, title crowned or whatnot. So Melody has a lot going on. So this is all coming from Urban Bell Magazine, who got most of their information from YouTuber Hey Girl Hey. Now, this is what I got to say about it. I figured that they was going to try to make Miss Wanda apologize at the reunion because she needed to apologize. But I kind of feel like that apology probably wasn't never going to be sincere. I don't feel like Miss Wanda was ever sorry for what she said. I feel like the only way she'll apologize is if everybody's on her ass about apologizing. Because, you know, Miss Wanda means what she says. She says what she means, even if it is a bunch of bullshit, even if it's a crock of bullshit. I mean, she's going to say what it, whatever it is that she means. And sometimes that could be a good thing and sometimes that could be totally bad. And I just, and like I told Miss Wanda when I interviewed her, like, you do things to people that you don't want done to you or your daughter. If Melody was sitting up here talking about um, talking about the fact that um, you know what about your what about your children? What about this? What about the what about the um, what about your baby daddy? What about this? You know, Letitia wouldn't be able to let it go because y'all know Letitia don't let shit go. She holds on to shit. She don't know how to let shit go, and that's the truth. And I don't really blame Ms. Wanda. I mean, I don't really blame Melody for not accepting her apology. At some point, you have to you have to be held accountable. And I don't feel like Ms. Wanda is ever held accountable for anything. I do think that Marceau um, tries to push the, the whole thing of she needs to be held accountable, but not really. He only does it when it's convenient for him. But I do think that Ms. Wanda is never held accountable and she needs to be held accountable. That's just the, that's just the truth. On my end, she needs to be held accountable because Ms. Wanda does too much. As funny as she can be, she can be a tad bit likable sometimes because she's fucking hilarious. But she needs to be held accountable because she does things, vile shit, and it's unforgivable. You don't talk about people's kids and you don't question the fraternity of people's kids. Especially if you wouldn't want nobody doing that to Letitia. And you know that you wouldn't. You'll be someone saying, oh, y'all talk about my baby. Y'all talking about my baby. Y'all talking about my baby. I mean, and you talking about somebody else's baby. Baby, you talking about Miss Van's baby, okay, and her grandbabies. So no, so I I don't blame her. Also, with Melody's um relationships with Letitia and Destiny, um, honestly, it's okay. That she's not. It's not meant for them to be friends, and that's just it. It's not meant for them to be friends. Like it's okay. Like sometimes you could be friends with people for so long and. You'll have so much love for them and all that other good jazz. And it turns out that they were never your friends to begin with. Or y'all went through a rough patch and y'all just can't seem to come up out of it. So I definitely understand where she's coming from. And, um, you know, it is what it is. So, um, yeah. So that's how I feel about it. Um, and, um, yeah, I'm, I, I'm not mad with her about that at all. Like, she has every right to not be cool with these people anymore and that's just that on that so with that being said you guys this be your boy scott about nature tv be sure to like rate comment subscribe and share this video also click on the notification bell so you can be notified whenever a video drops also if you want to follow me on any form of social media my twitter my instagram and my tiktok will be down in the description box with that being said you guys your boys out of here until the next video i will talk to you guys What's up guys, it's your boy Tramel. I just wanted to say that I have a new project that's out. It's called Mixed Feelings. It's on all streaming platforms. I would hope that you would go and check it out. It's a really good feel of an album. It's got everything you need and more. It's got R&B, it's got a little bit of pop, it's got a little bit of hip hop. It's everything that you need and more. It's out, all streaming platforms, like I said, please check me out and you can also follow me at i am underscore tramel that's i am underscore t-r-a-m-e-l check me out hope to hear from you